Hey, welcome back to PDB Garage, everybody. I'm here with a special project. Uh, my wife's theater group was doing a production of Beauty and the Beast, and so I got to build uh, the Enchanted Rose for that. Uh, if you don't know the story, uh, if the beast can't find someone to love, by the time the rose drops all of its petals and dies, then he remains a beast forever. Um, and so this is a special rose that um, is designed to drop its petals uh, with some software and some special tools and electronics and all that jazz. So, uh, quick demo here. We can drop one of the pedals just at the command on my little iPad. So this video is about how I built this and how it works. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, uh, give it a like and subscribe. First thing is the demo. Evidently, I wasn't a huge fan of the musical and so I don't know all the details, but evidently having a big glass dome over the rose is super important. <laughs> And so we created, or I created this dome out of some plexiglass tube. It's a 10 inch diameter and I got a dome, you know, you can buy spheres or half spheres. And so I got a half sphere, half sphere, can't say that right. And cut it in half, laminated it to this dome. And so created this, um, created that part of it. Next part was these petals. And so the petals, I found a, a lady on YouTube that makes ornamental gigantic roses uh, you know and rose petals and so I was able to create these following um, her tutorial on YouTube I'll put a link to that in the description um, if you're interested in that so each of these petals has got a little hook on it you can kind of see and I will bring the camera in here to show the details of what's going on so what's going on here is inside this rose or inside this setup here I've got a little Raspberry Pi computer you can see under there and on top docked on top of it is a bank of an eight relay um, Control module so essentially a relay allows you it's like a little electronic switch and so That switch is controlled by that computer and that computer is connected to my iPad with an Ethernet cable um, I can also do it wirelessly just um, For future reference and so each of those relays inside this rose is connected to this little, um, one of these little um, solenoids. And so when the electricity, when that relay fires, let me put this down, when that relay fires or closes and allows electricity to go through it, this little re plunger will push, push out. And when that pushes out, you can go up here. When that pushes out, each of these little, little rose petals has a hook on it and that hook goes down into a let's see goes down into a little each of these little 3d printed blocks has one of those solenoids under it and so that little solenoid is poking up through the hole there and so when that relay fires it basically pops this rose petal out and goes down and it'll go in a sequence all the way around depending on you know which number I give it and so that's essentially how it's going and I have a little light there for some drama and um, that's basically electrically how it works and so mechanically this is a steel just a steel tube um, TIG welded in such a way that it um, it's kind of a crooked rose and the idea was that it I don't know it looks a little bit ominous and scary you know it's not just a soft friendly rose it's designed to be um a little ominous and um it's supposed to look a little bit dangerous and so we got some thorns on it for some fun um some leaves from a uh, from a fake rose or you know one of those plastic roses you can get at hobby lobby or whatever and so um i created each of these petals um there's a youtube video a lady does on making giant um giant roses like this and so I followed her tutorial on how to make these petals um, just in a little bit of a smaller size and so when you take these all off and show you what's going on here and so I got little numbers on each of them so I know where they go back so because each of one of them is sized to a specific number here and so this is essentially a 3d printed created this little 3d printed holder and it the holder holds these little relay, uh, I don't know what you call them, relay blocks that hold it. You can see the little relay with the yellow wrapper under there. And this hole has that little plunger that, um, that it, and you can kind of see it in there. So that's the plunger. So that when that plunger go, pops up, the rose petal drops. And so this too, this, you know, the stem has 
eight wires running up through the center and up into this bundle here and each one is soldered into each one of these little so on the bottom i've got my ethernet cable coming into the raspberry pi i've got a bank of this i think eight uh i think it's eight eight re lind uh, i'll put a link to it in the description if you're interested in that or have bought it got it from amazon or ebay i forget which one but it's got a bank of eight relays and each relays relay is hooked up to one of those rose petals um, and i've got a power is coming in through a usb-c cable and a little you know ac ac dongle uh, over there and um that's kind of it all the wires come through a hole in the base and each one is you know kind of labeled for which relay it goes to so um we can show you the i wrote a little python script that allows you to kind of you, you basically you log into the raspberry pi over ssh and it's super simple and i wrote a little script that allows you to um, run the script and you just enter the pedal number that you want it to drop and it'll it'll drop it once it gets there so i don't know if i can this is i'm going to fire the number one relay and you can kind of see that thing come out of there so all right here we go i don't know if you could see you could see it and hear it but what's happening is essentially is that um that relay is is closing and allowing current to flow through and so it, that little plunger dr drives up and drops the rose and there's a small delay where it does it two or three more times so you can kind of hear it kind of buzz a little it goes it goes in and out in and out in and out really fast and that was just because some of the rose petals sometimes they stick a little bit or they don't quite make it out of there and so i you know it seemed to help to kind of hit it four or five times um in a really fast succession and that nearly drops drops them every time so that was that was really cool so uh and i might even be able to put a little clip in there of how it worked during the show i'm not so sure um there's some copyright things that going on there so we'll have to check that you can rent a few others petals. this is the only one i've seen that will drop eight pet eight individual petals uh on command so um if you're interested in kind of the video montage of how i built it i'll, I'll put that um right about now